little red house in a city by the sea, a brother and sister were getting ready for sleep. Mom read them a story and kissed them goodnight. She tucked in their covers and turned out the light. But the children couldn't sleep, no matter how hard they tried. They could still hear the sounds of the city outside. Cars beeped and honked, streets whirred and stirred. Don't they know it's bedtime? Ira wondered. Let's go somewhere quiet, Isabel said. So they got in a boat and sailed off instead. They floated away from the bright city lights, away from the noises and into the night. Waves rose and fell as miles drifted by, lit by a lantern and a moon-kissed sky. At dawn, Ira held a looking glass up to his eye. I see something in the distance, he happily cried. A colorful island rose out of the sea, full of bright reds and yellows, purples and greens. magical land for them to explore, so they landed the boat and stepped onto the shore. They followed a trail that twisted and turned to a bridge on a river that bubbled and churned. Leaves of all colors drifted down the blue stream. It was a beautiful sight that seemed out of a dream. The wind caught their wishes and blew them away over mountains and valleys, dancing for days. White clouds seemed to wander off into the sky, while Ira and Isabel wished they could fly. Up high, a big robin softly sang down, Fly, fly, little ones, lift your feet off the ground. On the count of three, both children agreed, so together they counted, one, Two, three. The pink sun was sinking down low in the sky. So the bird told the children, Time to say goodbye. My dear little friends, now that you know how to fly, I must tell you something to remember me by. At night while you sleep, send your dreams out to sea. The waves of the ocean will bring them to me. And lastly, he left them with a special refrain. Tomorrow's a chance to start over again. <laughs>